this video we will discuss the problem maximum average sub array so basically you'll be given an array of n integers the integers can be positive or negative and you'll be also given a number k you have to find the sub array uh, of length k which will be having the maximum average right so what does this mean so let's say if you have been uh, given a particular array like 1 2 4 7 then let's say 3 then let's say 9 right if this particular array has been given to you and the k value has been given to uh, us 3 so what you will do is you will check every sub array of size 3 and you will see which sub array is having the maximum average right and this question previously has been asked in amazon now what you could do is like you could fix first of all let's say this is your very first index right so you can fix your index here and you can take this particular sub array right the very first sub array of size 3 like write this particular sub array that is first of all you can consider the sub array 1 to 4 right then what you can do is you can consider this particular sub array right when you will be at this index you can consider this particular sub array that is 2 4 and 7 and take uh, take the sum and the uh, divided by k to get the average then you can consider this particular sub array starting from 4 4 4 7 and 3 right and take the sum and divide by uh, divide by k right then you can consider this particular sub array 7 3 and 9 right right so these are the sub arrays that you can consider take the sum and divide by k whichever is having the maximum average uh, you return uh, the starting point of that particular starting index of that particular sub array right but in that particular approach when you are at a particular index and you are generating all the sub arrays right so when you are doing that part let's let's say you are here and you are generating the sub array till of length k right so till here then you are here you are generating a sub array of length k right till here so every time you are doing this so since there are total uh, k sub arrays right so it will take a lot of time and it is not going to be optimal uh, because generating uh, every time from the i8 index uh, sub arrays of size k is not going to help right so what you can uh, like in that case the time complexity could be something like n cross k right now what you can do is you can uh, optimize this particular thing much further by applying a concept right by applying the sliding window kind of concept because what you can do is you can easily observe that the first window of size k is containing these elements right the first sub array of length k is this then the second sub array of length k is this right so you will be able to observe that what you are actually doing is you are leaving one element from the left right you are leaving one element from the left and you are add, adding one element from the right okay you are adding one element from the right that is you are adding this element and you are removing the leftmost element right from the sum from let's suppose that the current sum was storing 1 plus 2 plus 4 right if this was the current sum so you are leaving this 4 so what you are doing is you are uh, my, uh, you are subtracting this one this one from your uh, element right because uh, you are removing it and you are adding this 7 to your sum right this is what you are doing and then maybe if you are want to take you are taking average but is it actually necessary to divide the sum by k no it's not why because if you will observe the uh, so what will happen is like this is this is someone like let, let's say this is someone right now let's say this is sum 2 right let's say similarly this can be sum 3 and sum 4 right so total in for this particular array you'll have sum 3 sum 4 right like this now if you will clearly try to observe so uh, dividing every value by k right so uh, if every value is being divided by k so if you divide it by k or don't divide it by k it will not change and simply if you will uh, dividing by k and comparing or not dividing it by k and comparing the sums uh, the average will be the same right so that's why what you can do is you can directly check the sums that whichever sum is uh, maximum so the starting of that particular sub array you can directly return right let's say sum 2 is maximum so you'll return the starting of the uh, array for sum 2 right the starting index for that particular array so that's going to be the concept so what you will do is initially you will have a sub array right you initially you will have a sub array like this so let's say k value is 3 so you initially you'll have this particular sub array right so in your sum you will definitely store 1 plus 2 plus 3, 4 right and the starting index you will store here at 0 right so start you will store here at 0 right then once you are done with this part so your i will be starting from 0 I'll, i will be lesser than k so that you can have this till k minus 1 indexes right because it is a zero based indexing then what you will do is you will start your uh, i from the kth element right from this particular element and what you will uh, let's say you start here right so you are starting here and you are adding you are going to add this particular element right you are going to add this particular element to your answer so you will do what plus 7 right and then you are going to subtract this particular element so you will uh, definitely do a subtraction of this particular element right so let's say if your i was here only then you will add i plus kth element right so you will you will do was whatever sum was there so you will do sum plus is equal sum is equal to 
sum minus uh, this thing a of i right sum is equal to sum minus a of i ith element you are removing and you are adding the uh, i plus kth element right so this is what you are doing and every time you are checking the sum and whichever segment is having the maximum uh, so that that particular beginning you are starting storing right and like let's say if you are at this particular index right if you are here so similarly you will check for this and similarly you will keep on updating your sum let's try and quickly uh, implement the code now the time complexity for this approach since we are trying to linearly slide uh, use the sliding window concept so it will be nothing but order of n and the space complexity is going to be order of 1 let's try and implement uh, the code part for this particular problem so what i'll be having is as i told you like you also need to check if the k value uh, if the sub array size that you want if it is greater than the number of elements that you have in that case you have to return a minus one right so if k is greater than n so if the number of elements that are required uh, required in the sub array if it is greater than the number of elements that you have uh, in all in the complete array in that case you will return a minus one directly right so this is what you will do then what you will do is you will mark your let's say uh, current sum as nothing but zero right so this is what you are going to do after this part is done so what you will do is you will store in your uh, you will store the current sum for the first window right so i starts from zero i is less than k so for the first k elements you will store the sum and what will be the sum sum plus is equal to nothing but array of i right so you will store the sum once your sum is stored so what you will do is you need a beginning index right so they are asking you to return the beginning index of the maximum uh, of the sub array which is having the maximum average so you will say what you will say that okay the beginning index in the initial will be zero and you'll also be having a maximum maximum will be initialized to the current sum right maximum will be initialized to the current sum now what you will be doing is you will be starting to iterate so what you'll do is int i starts from nothing but zero and i is lesser than n minus k because for the rest of the n minus k windows you have to run so i plus plus you will do this part then what you will do is you will do sum is equal to you will update your sum sum is equal to sum minus a of i so the ith element from the left you are going to leave it plus you will add what you will add the right element right rightmost element that is a of i plus k you will add the element at the i plus kth index right because that's the element that you are going to add because you are sliding your window so you are adding this particular i plus kth element and removing the ith element right so you are removing the zeroth element that is the ith element currently and you are adding the kth element all right uh, according to the indexing part so this is what you are doing now what you will do is you will check that if your sum if your sum that you are getting is greater or equal to the maximum that you have got up till now in that case you will say that okay your maximum is equal to sum you will update your maximum and what you will say is you will say that okay the beginning index that you had the starting index will be what will be nothing but i plus 1 why i plus 1 and not uh, i because initially the for the very first window you have zero right and now if you are leaving this particular element right uh, suppose that uh, i is zero right so if you are leaving this particular uh, element i at i is equal to zero so that means you are considering the window which is starting from i uh, from the index one right so that's why you'll do begin begin is equal to i plus one then once you are done with this part so you can simply return uh, you can simply return the begin uh, index right let's try and quickly compile this code and see whether it works or not okay so we are getting some compilation error yes you will write arr here right uh, now it should get compiled it seems to work on the samples let's try and quickly submit this code to see if it is working on the uh, all the test cases or not you can see that this problem got accepted so in case if you have any doubt you can mention that in the comments thank you for watching this video